For many years at the Absa Cape Epic, we have been used to seeing ex-Springbok rugby players doing the hard yards in the 700km race. John Smith, Marius Herter, Butch James and Joel Stransky, just some of the rugby superstars testing their mettle. What has been missing noticeably from the race, however, are the famous former Proteas. Well, this year, Gary Kirsten, batsman extraordinaire and ex-Indian and South African coach, has signed on the dotted line. We found him at Magic Forest in Durbanville in the Western Cape, with two times epic rider and now partner, Michael Mole. Mike pitched there one evening at, at, at my wife's 40th and he just chose a really, a moment in time where he knew that he would get a yes out of me. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's, it's rare that someone, you know, when you, when you put it to them, they always, let me think about it. And out of the blue, he said, um, I would love to do the epic. And at that moment, it was a bit of an awkward moment, because I do know that Kerry's only ever done one stage race in his life. So, um, so I mumbled something about, I'll check if Liquid Fruit, you know, are okay with, you know, I mean, who wouldn't want Gary Kirsten to ride for them, blah, blah. So well, a couple of days later, I gave Gary Kirsten a listen, it'd be awesome. I mean, of course, it'd be brilliant. The beauty about being a novice and being kind of having done, done it before is listening to everyone that has done it and all the theories. It's the same as, uh, as when your wife's preparing to give birth to a child and all the different theories that you hear about how you're going to make it kind of work, you know, for the best of the both of you. So, I'm and looking forward and to how that. do you take those on? I mean, do you listen to all of them or you kind of go, whatever, man, I'll, it'll be my experience? It's exactly that. I think it is going to be, everyone has their own kind of personal experience, isn't it? But you take, I mean, you take on the council and certainly there's stuff that, that you're going to get that's going to be of help, isn't it? But um, it's, going to be, it's going to be an individual kind of experience, no doubt. I did mention it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully it's not the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I suspect it might be. <laughs> you know, the one thing that I have learned in the endurance events I've done, I've done eight or nine marathons now, is that um, you've got to be, you've got to be well trained. You've got to be prepared because that's kind of the, depending on how well you're prepared is, is what pain you're going to go into. I, I see it slightly different in terms of why, you know, they, they say the pain. For me, it, it's this, we live in a world that's just so risk averse. Everything is about our comfort. So it's comfortable cars, it's shortcuts to this, it's easy that, it's microwave everything. We don't push ourselves in, you know, and this is one race where you can be testing method, you can test your grip, you know, do I have what it takes? You think you can do something, you, you do an effort and you kind of go, I had no idea I could actually do that a lot of it. So. In sport, um, in any sport you're involved in, there is a, there's a mental endurance that you need to lock into. And people talk about the zone or the flow or a place where you can just kind of, you, you feel like the events in slow motion. And I'll be looking for that, man, big time. I like this idea of the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you're in it's it, I'll try, and, I'll try yeah, and copy you. It's <laughs> a beautiful place to be, but uh, you know, I mean, in sport they talk about the zone, you know. And you, I mean, I used to bat with Jock Callis a lot, and you kind of, you know, we'd, we'd be at the end of the, end of the over, and you would walk to him and try and have a conversation, and you, he was like talking gibberish. Be. You just. And he'd walk back, he'd like walk to you and go, huh, and walk back. And you could just see, here's a guy who's just locked in. Yeah. And he just, he's just going through. And, and what happens, time kind of stands still. And you just take everything, you are very accepting of everything that comes your way. Now, I think my first epic, I, on day seven, I came down really hard and, and fractured a clavicle. So it was a chromio-trabricular fracture. And x-rays, doctors said, your race is done. I mean, you're, just, you're not riding, I'm riding. And in my opinion, I can't say from this race. Mm -hmm. it, it is, it's that kind of race that... That's why I'm riding with the doctor, because he's going to tell me not to quit. <laughs> <laughs> he says, no, you're fine. You, You'll be okay. Thorn this oh. and thorn that, but oh. you're good. <laughs> and when we get home, we'll reset that bone. You know, so, you know. <laughs>